Hey, look, somebody asked me a question. I better answer it. Hey, it's Aaron. Uh, I have a quick question from Semra that uh, is an interesting one and is kind of a forecast of what's going to happen this year in automotive. Uh, Semra specifically wants to know what trends will set the course of change in the automotive industry for 2022. So in the background, what we're going to primarily see is more problems in uh, technology because of chip shortages. Uh, we're going to see more workarounds for those chips, and we're going to see new chip suppliers coming online this year. So we should start seeing production pick up, especially mid-year and last quarter of this year. So uh, that will be a big change for the industry, which has been kind of in a crimp for the last couple of years. Uh, in the foreground where most most people perceive the market, uh, we're going to see a couple of things. We're going to see sales for vehicles slow down sometime towards the middle of this year and probably down into 2023, and that's going to be entirely because of inflation. Uh, people are going to have a harder time affording new cars, and uh, their spending dollars are, are being restricted. They have, they have they have less value for the money that they have. And uh, the market on the other side, so people's pay and other things, have not changed to accommodate the big inflation we've seen and will continue to see. So, uh, and you know, with car prices being pushed up and the value of the dollar for uh, spending value going down, we're going to see restrictions on buying. We're going to have less and less people buying. Um, that's probably not going to be very long term, but it will happen uh, this year and we're going to see it for several months, possibly a year or two, uh, where we're just going to have a slowdown in the new, new vehicle sales. The next thing that is easy to predict that is definitely going to happen is we're going to see lots of announcements of electrification, green, blah, blahs, all that kind of stuff. There's going to be lots of talk about electric vehicles. There's going to be lots of announcements around them. Automakers are going to be giving lots of lip service to electrification and electric vehicles. Uh, we're going to see lots of concepts coming out. We're going to see vehicles rolling out, uh, production vehicles rolling out. And um, we're going to see all kinds of just automakers vying for public attention around electric vehicles. Um, and most of them, honestly, are going to be more of what we've already seen. It's going to be a lot of uber futuristic design, a lot of big talk about all kinds of things. And in the end, the ones that actually sell well are going to be the usual suspects that are like a regular car and don't look like, uh, you know, a spaceship. That's kind of a trope. It's going to take a while for that to wear off. But we are going to see more electric vehicle sales. How much? Hard to say uh, because it will go along with regular with the vehicle sales trends overall. And I really expect that the vehicle market will, the electric vehicle market will once again probably see a 50% increase. Uh, so we'll see them going to somewhere around 3% of the overall new vehicle market. Um, but I don't see that trend as continuing indefinitely. Uh, I think we're going to see that number level off. It's probably going to hold there uh, until electric vehicles are somewhere around 10 to 15%, which would happen at uh, doing the math on that would happen inside of 10 years. And then once that, once we get to that point, uh, I think we'll start to see electric vehicles slowing down in terms of their sales. Um, but, and we're not going to see, well, I won't get into that. I'm not going to go into politics. I will say uh, that I have already talked about how long it's going to take to get us to where the majority of vehicles sold are electric. Um, I'll point to that video from down below. But I thought uh, Semra's question here I thought was very interesting. Um, this is uh, just short term what's going to happen to the automotive market over the next year. That's my best guesses. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment about this, just hit it up below. All right. That's what I got. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon.